girls that drank beer. Hey guys, it's been a while. It's killing me. I'm watching videos right now, and I've been going through, I've probably gone through, oh shoot, at least 20 videos. SJ Poor, Lederham, great um, clay oven that you worked on. That uh, was quite a project there. Um, Dorf, Jack Herbation, watched your videos too. Uh, B. Meyer, um, uh, I won't mention what uh, Jack said about you, but uh, it was cute. Uh, and I did notice as well. Uh, let's see, and uh, much to my surprise, my good friend. His words, it pains him immensely um, that he can't be here. And um, um, he's got a lot of school going on. And. Uh, I just want to see if this does anything. You know, blinds the shit out of me. But uh, <laughs> he, um, he's he got a lot of school going on, and uh, he's nearing the end. Uh, this weekend, he'll be in New York at a hospital um, doing some hands-on testing. Um, so, main brew guy, if by chance you're watching, cheers to you. Uh, I know you're going to rock it. You're one of the smartest motherfuckers I know. Um, knock it out of the park, my man. Knock it out. Um. Ah, shucks. Big toe in the slam. Hey, uh, just want to let you guys know I was in New York and that was all true. Uh, he texted me and we texted back and forth. I, I literally had to keep, uh, I had to shut YouTube off because it, it was keeping me away from studying. And uh, I'll get into that story in a minute, but uh, I just want to let you know I'm going to take all the suspense out of the air. I passed. So yeah, I just wanted to say I passed, and uh, it was uh, it was pretty intense. Uh, while I'm talking to you guys, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and, and review uh, the <laughs> Sloppy Mama IPA. I got a oh God, I got a shitload of beers to review too, guys. I brought six with me. I'll try to get through them this week uh, here in the hotel. Uh, I'm out and about again, and. Uh, I probably won't be back home until the first week of October and I'm going to brew uh, some beer that week and I've got some things to do around the house but it has been the most crazy last six weeks ever so let me start by by the time I made my last video I was preparing to go to South uh, North Carolina uh, to a workshop for this clinical event that I had to go to in Utica last weekend. That's a pretty good head there, Nate. Uh, off the grill with Nate one. And uh, Nate, I'm sorry I didn't get to you uh, uh, Labor Day weekend because of uh, I had the Portland Brew Fest, which I completely forgot all about. Anyway, I digress. So <laughs> we, my wife and I drove down to South Carolina to a, day, a few days before, so we wanted to go to Myrtle and we wanted to look at a condo there. Um, so we did that, and then we drove up to Monroe, North Carolina, which is just southeast of Charlotte, and that's where this workshop was. And uh, I went to the workshop, it was a three day workshop, and uh, it was Friday, Saturday. Um, Saturday, I took a bunch of homework with me, and then I went and met the guys. I met, uh, I'll pop those pictures up here in a minute, but I, uh, I met. Uh, Jake C. Puna and uh, uh, Puka and C. And we all got together at this uh, this place in... Uh <laughs> 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 From South Carolina, North I was through the country, but really in the country. Yeah, it's like a quarter mile. They start at the church, and then they argue, and they split, and then they start two more churches, and then they argue and split. And they start. We saw more churches than houses. You should really come to where I live. But no. I live in Mayberry. This <laughs> <laughs> Andy Griffith's home farm. It is the biggest. Yeah, our first two, three wine festivals have had protesters at the end of the street with the signs and the Bible. You're going to hell. Don't be joking. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's serious.
seriously, we rode in one town. And where it was. <laughs> I've just been the friggin' world traveler lately. That's still got a, still got a good head. I'll let that sell. Anyway, uh, it's pretty clear. It's got a good aroma there, Nate. Uh, they went to this uh, workshop. And the guys that night, I went home and I did my homework. And I was up probably till uh, I don't know, 1 o'clock in the morning. And I had had a few beers, so my homework didn't come out all that great anyway. So I turned in my homework at the workshop, and uh, the teacher, or the instructor there at the workshop was grading my homework, and she uh, was writing a lot on my homework. <laughs> and oh well, she says, to, she looks up from the paper and she looks at me and she says, uh, when are you going to your CPNE? And that's my clinical event there in Utica that I just did. And she said, um, I said, uh, well, I'm going in three and a half weeks. And, uh, she put her head back down and she looked at me and she goes, you got a lot of work to do. I was like, oh, fuck. I mean, and I already knew that I was way behind the curve on that because and I, I, I don't know why I thought, you know, I thought, well, you know, I'm already a nurse, I'm a medic, I know this shit, but uh, no, I didn't know this stuff uh, the way they want it. They want it done very specifically and you, you can only fail one assignment and you get that one makeup and if you don't pass you're done you're out two grand you gotta wait another six months and um, I couldn't afford it uh, so uh, the camera's moving around quite a bit um, so I was uh, kind of nerved up and uh, I realized that uh, I couldn't fuck around anymore so um, and on top of all that we drive home and all my supplies arrive for my roof I had all my roofing shingles and, and everything, you know, even the trash trailer showed up and everything was there for me. I was ready to go. I had to do my roof that week and, and it was perfect weather too. It was, uh, it was like sunny the whole week. So I ended up uh, stripping my entire roof, putting in a skylight, putting in two vent fans, one for the kitchen um, stove and one for the bathroom, which our house never had it. And um, completely re-shingled my roof with, uh, you know, architectural shingles and Put a ridge vent in. It didn't have one. It's an older house, so I put a ridge vent in. It looks beautiful. It took me all week, though. Guess what? I didn't do that whole week study. Now I'm down to two and a half weeks to study uh, an event I just did. And, um, guys, I did nothing but study all day, all night. I, I mean, I was doing army during the day, but when I got home to the hotel room, this hotel room, I uh, studied and studied till midnight, one o'clock in the morning, memorizing. You know, coming up with mnemonics and things that because you can't take anything in the room with you. You have to remember everything. You cannot miss a step. If you miss a step, you fail. It's that simple. First time pass rate for this course, guys, 22%. Okay? So I was pretty much, um, I had painted myself into a corner. So I had to cut myself from YouTube and brewing beer, drinking beer. Um, because you can't learn when you're freaking half shit faced. You it doesn't stick, you know. So, uh, yeah, I was getting a few messages. Where are you? Where are you? And of course, uh, hockey player and I talk uh, frequently. Uh, not as much as I'd like, but uh, you know, I've been busy and he's been busy. But uh, you know, he's like, "Where are you, dude?" You know, people are asking, and I'm like, yeah, "Fuck, it's killing me. It really was killing me." And but um, things are going to start settling down. I only need to study for the boards, um, which. I probably won't be able to take the boards until the middle of November anyway, so I've got, got eight weeks to study. It's plenty of time. So I can do it at a more leisurely pace, a pace rather, and uh, get back to normal. So not to bore you with all this stuff, but that's what's happened. And uh, uh, I'm going to cut out and show you my hops, which have been long picked, dried, and sealed. Uh, these pictures I took way back in early August. Um, I'll show you that now. Nate, slap your mama. It um, it held up well. I have a little bit of a cold, so I can't really judge the aroma too much. Um, well, there. And uh, you and I had this when I came over to see you, so it, it hasn't altered that much over time. It's held up well. 
It's got a lot of back bitterness. Uh, a lot of malt character still uh, still shines through on the beer. It's a great beer. It's a, one of the first beers I've had in a while. So uh, cheers, my friend. Thank you for uh, letting me take this home. And sorry I sat on it so long. Well, I got a bunch of beer. Dan, uh, Arrogant Bastard Ale, I did get your beers. And I actually brought one of them with me. I hope I, I hope to get to them this week, uh, reviewing them. So I'm going to get back to some videos here, and I'll uh, probably, you know, show you a couple of videos that I've been recording on and off um, when I had a, like a, a small moment. I just couldn't uh, compile into them, so I'm doing that now. I apologize if my voice is a little rasp. I've really been fighting a kick-ass cold too, on top of all the shit. It's probably because I've been running myself ragged. I caught a cold. Anyway, uh, I'll be putting together some really good videos at some point, I hope. Uh, but it's not just me talking into a camera with a beer. Uh, cheers, everybody. That was my quick update. Miss you guys. Watching your videos, still getting caught up. I, it's probably going to take me all week. But you'll start seeing me comment on some of your videos here. So, more to follow. Oh. Go Patriots. Yeah. yeah, this one's definitely got bigger malt back bone than mine does. So, uh, so uh, Brad has... Uh, all right. You want me to use Pook NC? Yeah, Brad's fine. Okay. Well, I'll put both and then I'll decide. Pook NC is uh, going to go ahead and uh, share his Maharaja with me. And if you've never had this one... Go find it. <laughs> if you're a hobby. So I'll, I'll, I'll decide myself right here. But thank you. So what do you got? Lots of malt. Oh God, yeah. Get that sweet tropical fruit. Yep. Big sweet malt backbone. Yeah, that's all I'm picking up on that. So uh, I don't know, if, if you check out the website on Avery, the Maharaja is a seasonal, and it's been out for several months now, so it's not fresh. Nobody's is, I mean, it's, it only comes out like, it's been out now for like a month and a half or two months. Mm -hmm. Going for the sniff. Uh, Honestly, definitely fed it out on this one after drinking that other one where mine's fresh. It's a lot sweeter than mine is, too. Yeah, hey, that's all I can smell is the malt sweetness. I can't pick up any hops at all. Oh, I'm picking up a lot of alcohol. Yeah, it's a, I think it's 10%. Yeah. And I think the IBUs on it's around about 100. For what they what they say it is anymore somewhere between 95 and 100 mm -hmm. I think yeah I think between the sweetness and the alcohol a lot of that I've used getting squashed yeah <clears throat> it's another one it's it, the more you drink the more bittering builds on. oh sure it builds up on the back and that's that's what that, that the uh, the other one that you may not like that I brought we'll see how how it mellows out a little bit but when I tried it and it was pretty green it was pretty harsh all right guys I forgot um, I mentioned this uh, before in my last video, I said when I went over 250 subscribers that I was going to do a con uh, contest. And uh, I'm way over that. That's because I haven't been um, doing videos. So I am now up to, I think, uh, 273. So um, anybody that posts below is going to be entered into the contest. And uh, the contest uh, prize is going to be a $50 coupon, uh, gift certificate rather, from uh, Northern Brewer. So anybody can use that. And uh, even the folks overseas, um, Home Beer Brewery, it would at least cover your shipping anyway. Uh, make it worthwhile. So uh, there it is. Uh, since you're watching the video, post a comment below and you'll be entered into the contest. I'll draw that. So um, Saturday at midnight, anything after that, you won't be entered in the contest, I apologize, but that's, um, got to cut it off somewhere, guys. So uh, uh, Saturday, what date is Saturday? The 22nd. 22nd at midnight, when the contest ends, um, those names go in a hat. I'll pull it on video, the hat, the name out of the hat on video, and uh, I will email you the coupon code from uh, Northern Brewer. So uh, good luck.
And uh, cheers, everybody. And um, can't wait to put more videos up. Uh, I'm not in a hotel room. I'd rather be at my house with my family and my beer. <laughs> cheers. Happy Wednesday.